Hello pilots, in this video we will build insane value drone. What I mean insane, it will be huge, powerful and so cheap. I will link AliExpress deal right, right down in the description and we will talk about every part on this set that you can get. So the first one is the Mark IV V2 upgraded frame. This is 10 inch frame, so it's so huge. It's hard for me to show you guys because my camera is just too co close to 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 see the 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 mighty size of this frame. It's really big frame with these stiffeners. And I also did small modification because this is V2, so now it's great because we have two plates, so these arms are sandwiched, which makes them more stiff. But I still added the 3D printed stiffener right here. And it's between the arms, so you can see this 3D printed part that the frame is now stiffer. Motors are huge from the set. I will even show you the comparison with the regular 5 inch motor. So these motors are, are 900 kV. 900 kV, 3115 motor. So this is huge motor and will be plenty of power to lift even lift some weight with this drone. You can you, you can see the comparison with the 5 inch motor. So this is literally a couple times more bigger and stronger. And for this stack, stack will be of course from this set. So we'll use whole set from this AliExpress. This is this cheap Chinese F7 stack with 60 amp AST, so pretty nice that we have uh, some aluminum cooling here, but I think in this case huge capacitor for the AST is mandatory because we have huge motors, we'll use 6S battery, so we'll use this, of course this huge JCon capacitor from my earlier builds, and I hope it should last well. The camera will be also from this, I'm pretty curious how it will turn out. Of course, I think it will, it will be not as good as Cadix Rattle 2, for example, from my 7 inch build, but we will give it a shot. On the set, you will not receive any VTX, so we just use my used first VTX. This is really cheap VTX, maybe something like, like $15 for this one, with the also cheap and good SpeedDB antenna. For the ELRES receiver, I will use this Beta FPV ELRES nano receiver. So we have every part we can get to building, and of course, if you want to see the detailed video how to connect everything, this is pretty universal video. I will link it down right here. You can check it because it have over one hour of explaining video. But now we'll just get straight to the point and just start building.
okay so here we go guys I, we assembled this drone right here we have the power pick tail and i you can see i just i just got as close as possible this huge capacitor just not to cook this ast because i heard two rumors about this frame and this stack combo the first one the ast was prone for to to break and on these huge motors it was it was easy to smoke it we'll test it on this video and also the frame had some low throttle oscillations so we will test it right here in the lost flight so during the lost flight i will just check if everything works and and i also put small tpu antenna holder and the and the, in the future maybe we could be able to fly with the gopro so we'll see how how it will perform we'll fire it up on the success pack so this setup is literally all all aliexpress all order every part is from the order so you can get it stupidly cheap okay so we can try it i have the connection so we can test it out how it will be about the slow travels and i also hope that it will not shoot in the sky because this is just the preset from the from the preset step so we'll see how well it will work in lost flight okay so we fired up i'm pretty scared this drone is really big so i hope it will not kill me <laughs> okay here we go you can see that on low throttle i'm not getting crazy oscillations maybe a little bit maybe i fly a little bit further so here i can feel a little only a little wind so it's by the wind but i really not getting any crazy oscillations so you can see on low throttle it's not moving so much so it's not bad yeah and the punch of this crazy it's really nice this flies pretty nice for, for this money i think it's a steel deal even though that i need to create some huge lithium-ion pack for this beast because this lipo is even too light propage is also not bad it's handling pretty nice because you know this is maybe the, the one this is now like 20 percent of load that you can put on this drone so it flies really really nice later i will also test how much it, uh, how much it can lift so i think it can lift three kilograms with no problem but it flies really nice it flies pretty nice punch holes are, are also it's, it's easier from longer distance to see because this drone is huge so it's a big advantage that when you fly in walls it's just easier to spot and it flies really nice maybe next thing we'll move to the FPV and, and test the camera because this is a super cheap no-name camera and I hope it will be flyable <laughs> so we'll see okay so this test is passed really now I'm pretty pleased with this drone it flies really nice and the AST not blown up and the AST is one piece still so it's pretty great because we fly on 6S not on 4S we're flying on 6S and no problems there because I really hoped that this huge capacitor will help and I think it's doing its job really well so this combo works and it's pretty nice so I'm really stoked to now try all this stuff on FPV
suggest that you take a vacation from yourself. Here we go, we flew our Tanyan's throne and it was flying pretty alright, after Shogun Emperor Pitytion it was flying alright, even to add a little bit more stiffness, I 3D printed these arm stiffeners, so I just 3D modeled and, and mounted them here to even make these arms stiffer, so now during the heavy payload it also have less vibrations so with the like with the 3p pack for example for longer flights i have better performance when i have these stiffeners now if you're flying with with lighter lipo battery it really doesn't matter but if you want to put some heavy payload i i noticed that these stiffeners help a little bit So the LiPo flight was without them, the lithium ion pack flights were with these stiffeners. So with 2P pack it was flying really nice, really, I this pack also was really great. So I didn't even notice that they fly on lithium ion pack because this prop is so big and so efficient that I was even able to power loop this drone on lithium ion pack which is nuts. And also fly over 30 minutes on this big lithium ion pack so it was really really great of course to mount it properly i installed the jcon jcon huge capacitor is directly soldered to the ast and i really don't have any problems with the ast everything works really nice i can also drop the link for the stl files to the for these stiffeners so if you have 3d printer you can 3d print this and reinforce your frame so that's everything for this video i think for this money this is really really amazing deal of course this price is only for parts so you need to assemble everything and also pit tune it properly so it will fly great i would not try flying this machine on stock pit tunes, but because it will be a disaster the drone will just take off by itself so never never try stock pit tunes on these huge drones exactly as shogun emperor said uh, this pit tune is really important and, and it's really not easy to pit tune this so the shogun emperor pit tune works amazing on this build you can check out his channel and also his discord channel i will link it down in the description so that's everything for this video i hope you learned something new today you can subscribe for more videos so bye bye and stay creative